So did you know that there are actually tons of different ways that you can grow in your relationship with God? Well, today we are going to be breaking down our favorite tools for growing in prayer so that you can be a prayer warrior in no time. So stay tuned. What's up, everybody? This is Ronnie. And Mel. And on this channel, we give you weekly tools and inspiration to help you find God and walk with Him in your daily life. So if that's something you need, consider subscribing, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss an episode. Also, we have a free resource for you at the end of this video that has some of our favorite prayer tools, including many that we will talk about today. So make sure you don't miss it. And if you're a Christian, you know the main point of prayer is not just asking for things, but connecting with Jesus. So today we're gonna share some of our favorite tips to help you do just that. We have said this before, but one of the main things that you need to pray is a right view of God. You will never want to spend time with a God that you think is always mad or disappointed in you. Once you know that God loves spending time with you and he's fighting for you, even when you're weak, prayer becomes so much more enjoyable. A great way of doing this is what is called praying the names of God or just thanking him for who he is and what he's done. And not only do you need a right view of God, you actually need a right view of yourself. If you know who you are in Him, then you can come boldly to Him with confidence when you pray. For this, there is a whole list of scriptures called Who I Am in Christ, and you can pray those and declare it over yourself every day. Back when I first became a believer, I remember I just never knew who I was. And so every day I would pray those scriptures over myself. Even if I didn't believe it, I would just declare it and I would just try and believe it in faith. And over time, I began to know who I was in him. Everything we mentioned right now is going to be in our prayer pack. So don't worry about trying to memorize everything. We're going to tell you more about how you can get it for yourself here at the end. Another exercise that is great for this is making a gratitude list. It's so easy to focus on what you don't have, but we want to focus on all that God has done. So every morning or every night before you go to bed, just think of five things that you are grateful for and you can be reminded of God's goodness towards you. In our past videos, we touched on devotional prayer, which is praying to know Jesus, intercession, which is praying for others, and a few of these tools are going to help you with another type of prayer called supplication. Supplication is just simply asking God to do things in your own personal life. It can be external things or internal things. We see an example of this in what is called the Lord's Prayer, where Jesus is actually teaching his disciples how to pray. In it, Jesus said, give us this day our daily bread, which is an external need, with forgive us of our trespasses, and lead us not into temptation, which are internal needs. One tool that we love to use for those internal needs is an acronym called TRUST. T-R-U-S-T. This helps us to do what the Bible refers to as fellowshipping with the Holy Spirit, who lives within us and dwells in us and leads us every day. So let's break down what those prayers are. T stands for thank you, and you can just thank the Holy Spirit for leading you and guiding you into all truth. R stands for release revelation, and you can ask the Holy Spirit to show you more about Jesus, His Word, His will, and His ways. U stands for use me, and you can ask the Lord to use you to bring others to Him. S stands for strengthen me. And the Holy Spirit, who is the helper, wants to strengthen you in the fruits of the Holy Spirit. All you have to do is ask. And the last T stands for teach me. And you can ask the Holy Spirit, who is the teacher, to teach you all about God, who he is, and how you can walk in his ways. A similar acronym that we pray is fellowship. And these are prayers that strengthen you with might in the inner man. F is for fear of the Lord, and you know that he sees us, and our choices really matter. E is for endurance or perseverance, to keep running hard after God. L is the love of God, so that we would understand it and that we would love Him in return. The other L is for light of glory, that we would see more of the glory of God in our own lives. O is for the one thing life desire, that we would be a people that are after one thing, Jesus. W stands for walk worthy, that we would live in righteousness and purity and walk pleasing to Him in every area of our lives. S is for speech, that our words would align with His ways and His truth. H is for humility, that we would not walk in pride and we would consider others better than ourselves. I is for intimacy unto impact, that we would grow in nearness to God and then partner with Him to impact the world around us. 
And P is for peace and joy, that we would not live in fear, that we would not live in stress from the rat race of the world, but that we would live resting and trusting in Him. And that is the fellowship tool. Again, all of these prayers are called supplication, asking God to do things in us. Now let's move on to external. It's also biblical to ask for those little things that you need in your life. But we have to distinguish that there is a difference between a need and a want. Remember, God's goal in our life isn't wealth and prosperity in this age. It is that we would love Him and we would grow in knowing Him. So He knows best everything that we need to do just that. But don't forget, God cares about the desires in your heart and He loves to reveal Himself to you as a father. So never get discouraged of asking, but know that He's always good and He always gives you what you need. Another good way to do this is to have a different prayer list. We have talked about prayer lists for praying for other people or intercession in previous videos, but you can also have prayer lists for your own life and what you are asking God to do for you personally. That way you can remember what to pray for and when God answers it, you're much more able to notice because you have it written down. So we talked about a bunch of different types of prayer lists. So let's talk about one of my favorite tools, worship. Worship is simply declaring to God who he is. And one of the best ways to do this is through music. We love the quote by St. Augustine that says, He who sings prays twice. And did you know that the word sing is actually the most commanded thing to do in the entire Bible? It's because God knows that when we sing, something within us unlocks our heart. And so whether you have a great voice or not, singing is one of the most powerful tools. Another super helpful tool is what we call pray reading the word or taking the Bible and turning it into a conversation with God. When you come to a verse, thank him for it, ask him questions about it, and ask him to help show you more and how you can apply it to your life. Pray reading the word is one of my favorite tools because it has helped me grow in the Lord so much. Let's just face it, prayer and the Bible, they go together. And another thing that goes really well with prayer is fasting or giving something up, primarily food, in order to make more room for God. When we fast, we're saying no to something else and saying a big yes to more of God. So just start small and you'll be more sensitive to the things of the Spirit and you'll be more dependent on Him. Just know that every step you take to know and love Him more moves his heart. Well, that was a lot, and literally each one of these tools could be an entire teaching on their own, but we just gave you some bullet points. And these aren't the only way to pray either. And by no means do you have to do all of these things. They are just here to help you get started. And if you wanna grab all of these tools for yourself, we have made you guys a prayer pack. All you gotta do is click the link below in the description and you can download it for free. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you think it might help someone that you know, make sure to share it because you never know the difference that you can make in someone else's life. And we wanna hear from you guys. So be sure to comment below and let us know. Have you used any of these tools before for yourself? Or do you have any other ideas? If so, let us know down below. So we hope this helps you in your journey to find God and walk with Him and we will see you next time.